had time for one prayer, I thought. I, I truly thought I was going to die at that moment. And my one prayer was, Lord, let my wife and kids laugh lots. Carl Chin is talking about an unforgettable day back in 1996 when he and others were held hostage by a gunman at Focus on the Family's International Church. The moment that nightmare was over, he knew instantly that he wanted to share a message of safety for houses of worship. He started with his own church in Colorado Springs. Then two years after we had started our program, we had a killer come and uh, killed two girls in our parking lot, came on in the building, and our team met him in the hallway and stopped him. Today, Chin was a guest speaker at a seminar for faith-based groups at Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit. In the wake of mass shootings like Sutherland Springs, Texas, where a gunman stormed into a church and killed 26 people, he says a message of readiness is critical. Appoint a few people that can be security-minded to watch the back door, watch the area. People are starting to realize, wait a minute, this could actually happen to us. And so we've finally gotten the attention of a lot of people, and they're saying to us, okay, now what do we need to do? Ron Allen is with the Security Leaders Coalition, the nonprofit that puts on the seminar. He says one key is to have an eyes and ears team. And so we are trying to train our people, okay, if you see something that doesn't look right, talk to us. Let us know. We'll check on it. We'll make sure it's okay. We'll keep an eye on the person. And just doing things like that help everybody in our facility feel safer. While they pray for safety, they say they must also be prepared for anything. It's just common sense to, be, to have some level of readiness. In Detroit, a new Prakash, 7 Action News.